Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I am going to be doing acrylic fluid pour paintings with these beautiful crystals from Panda Hall Selected. So, let's get started. Hey guys, so here are the crystals that Panda Hall selected, sent to me a little while ago. Um, all the links will be in the description below, their website and the link to the product. And of course, I do have a code, Marisa, where you could save $6 off or orders over $59, okay? So all the links will be in the description. I love these crystals. I have been using them and making some beautiful things with them. But today, I am actually gonna use this um, canvas panel by Montmart and is incredibly strong. Some of the best canvas panels I've ever tried with fluid pour painting in these beautiful colors, this violet and pink color by my favorite primal flow here and we also have some plum plum with these very dirty bottles and some rose gold i think we go beautiful with the rose quartz okay so we're going to do some fluid pour paintings and incorporate these beautiful crystals and we are going to get started on the pouring right now Hey guys, so I sped up a little bit, so we're doing two different pours, we're doing um, like an open cup and we are doing a split pour, a split pour with this beautiful cup by Artsy Farty Lovers, both of them are by Artsy Farty Lovers, Stacey Nicole, so I'm just layering the different color paints, I was just going to use two colors per painting, but I just decided to just intuitively just use all the colors here and I'm just layering them until this tiny little this is the perfect open cup for canvas panels or any small uh, surface you want to use and I'm just gonna lift it up and that bubble is gonna pop or I'm gonna move it away and just pop it because it's not popping on its own and I'm just tilting the little canvas and mix all these beautiful colors together. These canvas panels are absolutely amazing. Uh, they are very, very strong and sturdy canvas panels. I got them quite a long time ago from Montmartre. And that rose um, gold looks absolutely gorgeous with the violet color. I love the mixture of the pink, the purple, and this beautiful rose gold. I think it's going to go wonderfully with the rose quartz. I'm just wiping all the edges and there is number one. So let's move that to the side and just bring over the split um, cup. I'm just going to pour a little pink and a little bit of that plum right there. And I am going to incorporate some more rose gold in both little compartments. All right, this is beautiful combination. And I'm just going to pour and keep it as steady as I can in the center of the canvas. I love these cups. These are really some wonderful uh, pouring tools by Stacy Nicole. Thank you, sweetheart, for sending these to me. So beautiful. So let's put those to the side. And we're just going to tilt the canvas until it's fully covered. And it looks absolutely beautiful. All the beautiful textures and the colors are just gorgeous as usual with the primal flow. making sure every little section is covered and get my edges so it's nice and clean and just perfect. Oh, 
Okay, that one is done. I love it so far. Let's move both to the center here. And next, I'm going to add the crystals right on top. All right, so here are the crystals, the rose quartz, and the amethyst. And now what I'm doing is I am just basically putting it right on the wet paint. The wet paint is going to add, is going to like act as a glue. I would rather not use hot glue with the crystals. I just don't think it's going to lay down nicely and I just don't like using hot glue with crystals so the paint the wet paint actually acts as a glue and you just lay them down and let everything dry and they will stay on I've done this many times before with other materials on wet paint so I'm just making my little design I'm using both the amethyst and the rose quartz on both of the paintings. Now I'm just putting a few in the center here to make it balanced. Making sure they all stay down properly so it dries and they will stay on. Adding a few more crystals. And that's that. I love it so far. It's so pretty. And now we're going to do the next one. All right. So here is the next one. And I'm just doing a diagonal line. That's what I am feeling. Straight down with this beautiful amethyst. I was actually going to make some UV resin uh, jewelry with the crystals, but my UV resin was acting up, don't ask. I was having a lot of problems with it, so I decided to do this project instead, and I'm feeling so much better about this project. So I am just going to layer them down, right diagonal, just put one more. that corner make sure they are really stuck down so when it dries they are attached properly and now I am going to add a little bit of rose quartz just a little bit on either side of that center diagonal line just to give it some really nice contrast to the dark purples and I think that these are absolutely beautiful. I love these crystals. You can do so many different things with them. So many different types of projects. You can make jewelry, make little jars, give them as gifts. And obviously you can use it in resin uh, art. If your resin was working properly and hardening properly, mine was not. Uh, so that is that. And obviously you can use these in fluid pour paintings as well. So let's just move these to the center. And that is that. I love how these came out. I love these pore paints. So we're going to let this dry. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to put this clear glaze on it for sure this time. And we'll let this dry for 24 hours. Okay, guys, I am back. So I really got inspired, and I realized I wasn't filming it, and I am so sorry. I realized I have this beautiful, like, rose gold foil by uh, Tonic Studios, the Nouveau brand. And I went ahead, and I just embellished this beautiful painting after it dried in all four corners. And you see there, I did spray it with that uh, triple thick uh, glaze. I love the way this came out. It is so pretty. And then I just add a little bit of the rose gold on either of that or those corners there. And I think it just added just the perfect touch to these paintings. Add a little brightness and contrast to it. And that clear glaze is great. It just really, really smells. So if you can do it outside, please do. But I love the way it came out. So, here are the crystals. Thank you so much, Panda Hall, again, for sending these to me. And I have so much left. You get so much. 
So, don't forget the links are below. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And here it is one more time. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.